We're really in for it now, Gohan! Yeah! What is up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the DStar01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we'll be looking at the SH Figure Arts Krillin, Earth's Strongest Man. This is the second iteration from SH Figure Arts, a Krillin. Figure. And I gotta say, this is a pretty good one. If you're looking to pick him up, you can go to www.dstarplayer.com. Awesome action figures. I believe we still have them in stock. So, as a toy review, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel about this figure. This is a great figure. I'm gonna tell you my main issue, and it has to do with the torso. Um, this does not look as good. I mean, this was in the production uh, pictures when they first released them and I was like, you know, that doesn't look as good and you know what, now that I have him in hand, I was like, yikes, that really doesn't look as good as I'd like it to. But, I'll tell you why they do this. So as I zoom out, I'm going to show you, he does have a lot of movement in the midsection right here and that um, this weird looking joint does allow him to do all kinds of poses and this is probably one of the most articulated Krillin figures I think I have ever seen and I gotta say that is just a minor gripe considering the fact that he is so articulated he does look good his paint apps look good and therefore I have to say yeah this is a great figure so now that we have that out of the way now we can move into paint and detail articulation and scale and accessory so we're gonna go for a deeper dive here first off let's go into paint and detail i gotta say i really really like the skin tone on here it doesn't have a matte finish i think they're starting to go away from matte finishes from action figures but of course you can add your own which gives it a more premium look in my opinion but as you can see the plastic is a little bit shiny um, the gi does look really good with a nice deep orange and of course we have the logo in the back which looks really solid and the deep dark blue shirt looks really really good. This is a classic Krillin look and not last but not least let's look at the six dots right there on his forehead. You can see them very prominently and it looks really solid. So here's something I have to compare it to okay. So this is not the real deal, but this is a clone, and I thought the clone did look pretty good for the first version Krillin. And my issue with the first version Krillin was the little dots were not as prominent. I mean, the real one does show a little bit of markings on the dots, but this clone did not. And this clone has been kind of taking its place um, when I... When I set up all my Dragon Ball figures. This Krillin does take its place, albeit I don't have the shoulder or the uh, the sleeves anymore because I lost them again. It's a clone. This figure is superior to the first one, albeit the first one does look a little bit cleaner, but this one does have a lot more uh, articulation points, not to mention the musculature is much more prominent on the new one. As you can see, his muscles are definitely more prominent. Maybe some shading will really bring that out. Uh, yeah, so, so far, when it comes to paint detail, I have to say I really like the way this Krillin figure looks. Now, let's talk about articulation and scale. I got my trusty ruler out, and he is standing at four and a quarter inches tall. And, of course, we got to compare him with other action figures. Here is the, uh, um, what do you call it, the Gohan, Kid Gohan, Frieza Saga Gohan. And, of course, we had the clone Krillin. And Saiyan raised on Earth, Goku. And just because, uh, here is Anime Heroes, Deku. So if you're looking to combine them with other anime figures, it seems to be working really well. And we do have Swimsuit Aqua here. So yeah, he does work with Swimsuit Aqua because he's a short guy, short king. Uh, let's see, of course we have to have his wife, Android 18. So there he is with the new um, Android 18, the exclusive. And last but not least, we always have to put Marvel Legends. So here's the Marvel Legends Metal Suit Spider-Man. So let's go into articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe. We have a ball joint here at the ankle. Look at all that movement, really nice right there. We have a double jointed knee. Uh, as the kneecap falls out, oh no! 
Everyone stand by. Now I saw this on a forum once. Why don't they just super glue these for you? Well, <laughs> uh, I don't know why they don't just do that. <laughs> but we're gonna do it right now. This is an easy fix. This is a quick impromptu fix. I had a feeling this was gonna happen. I knew a lot of people had an issue with even the Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku. The kneecaps keep flying out. Just super glue them, just handle it. That's all you really need to do. When this one flies out, I'm going to do the same. It really doesn't need to come off. It just needs to stay there. And there you have it. No big issue whatsoever. Just super glue that sucker right in. And now let's look at the version two body joints. Look at that. They managed to put this in a small guy like this, which makes me wonder why don't they put it in all of them? So if they could fit it in crinoline, I don't know why they don't just put it in all of them. I know some figures, they just don't do it. Like Android 18, like I was saying before. Oh wait, actually, yeah, she does have it. Who didn't have it? I forgot. Anyway, yeah, I, oh yeah, um, she didn't have it. Kefla did not have it, and that was like so annoying. I was like, she could really benefit from version two body joints. But anyway, so now let's move on. We have two articulation points right here in the midsection. And as, like I said before, really good rotation in the body, not a full 360. I mean, you can if you really try, but I really like the way it rotates. That's really nice and really solid ab crunches, as you can see right here. We have butterfly joints, so you can get cross arms and kamehamehas if you really want. So that's really cool, which by the way, I'm gonna show you something really cool in just a second. We have a um, bicep civil, double jointed elbow, ball and peg for the wrist and two articulation points right here and right here for ultimate articulation. Can he look straight up? Not quite. So getting the uh, poses, which we will get into right now. Boom, superhero landing pose. Not so much, let's activate all those joints. Um, we can get something pretty close, but because he cannot really look up uh, we cannot master this pose very well, but we can get really solid kicks. Look at this really nice kick right here. Front kick, flying knee. Of course, we got to do the sure you can right there, and we can have him charging up. Bam, look at that. Looking really solid. Lots of posing options with this guy. I really like it. And last but not least, of course, let's see if I can take this out. We have a Kamehameha beam right here that I made. And let's see if we can put this in. Actually, I think this is the wrong stand. Everyone give me a second. Okay, so here is Critalin with the custom Kamehameha beam with LED light in it. This is a prototype. This isn't the actual one that I'm planning on releasing. But as you can see, he can do a Kamehameha pose, albeit I don't have the right hands, but we're gonna look at that in accessories. So this is just something I wanted to show just really quick that he can get into the pose to get it Done, and I think that looks really cool right there. So anyway, enough of that. More information on that. Follow my Instagram and stuff like that to see the progress. So let's talk about accessories. Let's go to the top cam. Let's see what we're talking about here. Of course, we have the Destructo Dis, or Kienzan, I think, is what he calls it in the Japanese version, which is really nice. I hated the first version. The first version was really bad. It was almost like a paper-like material that you had to sandwich in between pieces of plastic, and I thought that was so stupid. And in fact, uh, I believe I found someone that makes um, Destructo Disc, and they don't make them anymore. But anyway, the point is, I hated the first version. And of course, we have different heads, which is what I really like. I like that they gave him different heads instead of just face plates, just like the original. And we have, what was that one right there? This one was a scared face. This one right here was an, is an angry side looking face. And we have a, oh shoot, all the hands are falling off. We're gonna look at that in a bit. We got a yelling face right here. And of course we get an assortment of hands. And of course we get a Senzu bean bag. So let's look at the front cam and I'll show you exactly what I'm looking at. Here is the Senzu bean bag, which is really cool. And you can put this on his left hand, I believe. And bam, there you have it. He's like, Goku, you need this right now. And then bam, he gets shot out of his hands and that sucks. <laughs> and of course the assortment of hands, which I will, we always look at them at the end, but we need to talk about one hand that matters the most, which is this one, which has a socket in it. And what is that for? That's no other than for his 
destructo disc. So let's see if we can go ahead and give that a nice angle. And boom, just like that. Holding up a pizza pie or a really deadly razor. And look at that. That looks much, much nicer than the original. I hated the original. I think I even threw that one away because it broke. So that's pretty neat right there. So let's look at the heads. So the heads are really easy to swap out. As you can see, it has a really hearty, uh, <laughs> really large uh, joint right there. That's really cool. So the head will stick on really nicely. It slides on real nice. And of course, we have a kind of like an angry face right here. Looking really good. Let's look at the other ones. And here's the, we're really in for it now, Gohan face. That looks really cool. And, of course, a angry fighting face, which looks really, really solid. So that's it when it comes to accessories. Of course, we'll look at the other hands at the end of the video. Let's stand this guy up. Let's see him getting really angry right here. Like I said before, this figure is definitely worth it. So let's come up with a conclusion of the SH figure, our strongest man on Earth, Krillin, uh, or Earth's strongest man. This is a great figure. I love it. Looks great. Love the details. Love the facial expressions. Love all the stuff he comes with. So glad he came with a actual plastic destructo disc, unlike the first version, which was some sort of like plastic, really thin, uh, almost paper-like material. Didn't like that. Glad they improved it. And everything about this figure is great. He's really super articulated. And therefore, I say he is a definite buy to add to your collection. If you're looking to pick him up, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstartoys.com. Awesome Ash Triggers. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.